Yeah. Here's an interesting thing. So we know this about African leaders. I use that term loosely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very loose, very, 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 very loose. Very, 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 very bars. Cheap wrangler. No, it's horse English. Sipe di, it's horse. Sipe. No, it's in Ghana. It's in Basso. No, man, wait to get robot. Maybe I'll charge. What are you doing? Don't answer that, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, let's check out. I'm going to go to the couple of months. Etara, welcome to the Desmond Dube School of Presenting. Today, I'm going to teach you on how to become a brand. Because I am Desmond Dube and I'm a house presenter. Before DDSOP, I'm a hoster, I'm a fashion show, I'm a fun day. I used to host all types of nonsense. This is actually life. My voice was like this, and uh, I had a spoonful. But ever since I started presenting, my back is arched right, and I speak eloquently, clearly, I articulate. Thank you, DDSOP, not the normal one. Hello, my name is Titi Chumia, and I failed this year to the school of presenting. For four years? Yeah, for four years I've been failing. Uh, it's not personal, it's just this exam. I tried everything, you know, I tried to upgrade my marks for two subjects. It didn't work out, but this year when I, I feel it, I feel it. I feel like I could represent something big, something like gonna sunlight, you know, you just float. The first step, gents, of being a great presenter it's confidence. Look at that. It's not there. It's inside. You see, confidence is not just on how you appear. It's how you feel. It's how you it's how you drink. You tell the glass that it needs to feed your thirst. You must tell the glass that I'm about to consume the water in you. then says you believe in yourself. You believe in the brand that you are representing. Any color, except Arsenal. Is it Arsenal? Never, never. Good. Orlando Perth. Confidence. Let me give you, let me give you an example. <clears throat> SMS 41076. We'll call you back. After I graduated with my cum laude, I'm honored to get an honors and a master's from Desmond Dewey School of Presenting. You know, ever since Malume Dez came into my life, I was scared the first time I met him. I was like, I'm too young for a policy. But he was like, my boy, that's not what I'm here for. But look at me now. After graduating from the school, I am at the top of my game, uh, representing for insurance brands. Look at me now. I'm out, my boy. I just feel like you are never. Titi. 
It's all about confidence. Confidence, yeah. Yakulum. Kamu apa lelak? Kerana ane. Nebula bul. Eh, syukur. Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl, some cheese boy da. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a Jala story. Pitting on my guest, a nice and moy. You want my bundles, not of choice. Let it some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. 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 Call you all boy like friends like me. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, call a boy boy like friends like me. Popcorn and cheese, episode 32. Hey, hey, if scarecrows had day jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that t-shirt looks like yo, a yo, yo. <laughs> What's my Chance, sale? Chance, I'm worried. Look at how low that camera is because it's not low mangi. Ah, ah there's, there's it's not. Yeah. I agree when you're sitting down, everyone's the no, same height. No, I've got height. issues with your crew. Yeah, no. you're, you're not sure with your whole Because when you're a guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah how can you? No, earlier on when we were filming, uh, <laughs> I went first. So my belly camera here. Then you come in, just to stand in. Do you want to bar? As we sit. Thank you for clapping, my brother. Did you see those 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 arms when they clapped? As I'm pulling this out. You can you see, you can see hands that big pocket. Two finger. Clap, clap your eyes on the soul. It's Ladies a, and gentlemen, I had it easy. Oh, sir. As I say, they're on aeroplane mode. <laughs> His arms are on aeroplane mode. <laughs> the clap yeah. was silent. Ah, yeah, it's it's right. on aeroplane <laughs> mode. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> if people could see that, you're chilling on a crate right now. If people could see. <laughs> Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. boys and girls, cheese mm-hmm. boys, cheese girls, the, the cheese, cheese gang. gang. Welcome to a super special episode of Popcorn and And Cheese. cheese. Before we get into it, ladies and gentlemen, and introduce the legend that is here. The Beyonce. (laughs) Mamela. This one. It's time to start with the people that are here all the time. (laughs) And to start us off, ladies and gentlemen, we have a man with a smile that can only be described as a smile from Limpopo. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about comedian, sensational ghost man boy, the man who goes by the name Tsitsi Chumeric the Paperic. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when he's not dancing on stages and performing, he is the brand ambassador for Black Leopard soccer team, as you can see with his attire today. Obviously, the T-shirt he got was from the goalkeeper no, because I'm Oligani. <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the way black people don't ice skate is not lip yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. It's too deep from boy. Huh? Great. Yeah. Ice skate. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Ice skater. I'm a piano singer. Music dancer. And of course, popcorn and cheese podcaster. Make some noise for the one and only Robot. Which one is this Robot. one? Robot. Robot. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know, uh, here we are led by the leadership, the one who drives and steers the ship, the one and only president of the Yellow Bones, looking like, as he's just about to salute us, he looking ah. like um, you are a runner on the army field and uh, a spare wheel of a Jeep Wrangler. No, it's horse heel. My Sipe man, it's horse. Sape. No, it's not going to be. It's not going to No, man, we're going to get a robot. Maybe I'll charge. What about you? I was actually thinking he was going to say the same word three times. Yeah. Uh, uh, you see, we just can't say that. All right. Bobo, it's more important. Yeah. 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 Jesus. Oh, ladies yes. and gentlemen, yeah. today is a dream come true. You yeah. actually. Mamela, mm-hmm. we are in the presence of pure greatness. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, when we were young cheese boys and cheese girls such as yourselves, 
we used to watch this thing called the television. Banking school. Facts. That's all the entertainment we had. Facts. It was full of pale skinned people. Facts. But once in a while, King. there would be a guy in a blue suit who represented us. How uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> No, but <laughs> Before the blue suit, man. This was the face of banking school. I know, right? You only got if you were banking school, this was the face you saw. You saw TV. Ladies and gentlemen, comedian, mm. actor, yeah. director, Yay. producer, what else? Presenter. Uh, presenter. What else? Uh, the face of banking school. Banking school. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yes. a man who's been selling funeral policies from when they were just a little bit of one rand a day. It gives us great honor and pleasure to introduce to you yes. half man, half amazing. Mr. These yes. people are expensive. God bless them. Please put your digital we hands together. Design. Make some noise for the one, the only, the legend, Desmond Dure. What are you doing, yeah? Yay! Do you guys know that these people are expensive? God bless them. No, no. Malumet is on one of the apps. Yeah, but you can't ask it from, to okay. It's a 1994. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, very, very, very close. You're 99? Aye. 93? Yeah, I fought for a party. You know. <laughs> with with yeah. who? City. Who did I you fought, fight? I fought the nurses. <laughs> the nurses? <laughs> yeah. When you were born. Whenever a white nurse tried to touch me, I cried. You know? yeah. I wow. Know Malmetes, <laughs> we know who you are. We've known who you are our whole lives. Yep. But we ask you that you look down there into your camera. To, uh, to the cheese boys and the cheese girls out there, tell them who you are and what it is that you do. Um, the one that's really low. <laughs> no, no, you can look at the higher one. Okay, for, because there's a low, 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 low camera. Can I say can I let my tough 50 cent? They were right now. So... Uh, my name is Desmond Dube. So should I do the whole etera? Desmond Dube. <laughs> Desmond Dube. Someone's gonna buy a police. You know. Um, yeah, this this a big fan of the industry. Uh -huh. um, and I say that very loosely because I don't think we're an industry, but that's a topic for another day. Big fan. I'm a fan of even little robot boy. Corey. No, no. no. Ah, no. Yeah. That's right. And again, well, it needs a medical aid. That one, uh, but there's is covered. Covered? Yeah. Well, there's, what's your second name? Kintate Mulashei. Mulashei. My name is my grandfather. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Desmond Mulashei. Mulashei. I knew when I got into the industry, that because obviously I wanted to call myself Mulashei. Mm-hmm. But you know when you go to auditions and you start hearing how white people pronounce your name? Mm. Yeah, this is not, not gonna be this is not gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna end well. Yeah, it's not gonna end well. Yeah. So I obviously just retreated to back to the Desmond. Because it was also a period at that time where I think a lot of black people were finding themselves. Yes. Even even Desmond Tutu wanted to call wanted people to call him Mpilo Tutu at the time. I don't know if you know, Desmond Tutu's other name is Mpilo. Did you know? So, ah, I so, never. So people, Hectic. people were sort of going, you know, from Kenneth to Katejo, you know, introducing themselves. So Linda Kerem Lashe, hey, Kabo, no, Ra, no. Yeah, not not in this too, industry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine is too hard, yeah? <laughs> Otherwise, I was going to be Mo. Mo? Mo Dube. <laughs> Mo Dube. Mo, <laughs> Mo Dube. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't know that they also rocked the Desmond Tutu like that. Yeah, he had to be rocked like that. Yeah. Back in the day, having an English name was a, especially when you were trying to get into certain industries and spaces, it was easier for them to, I would rather hire a Desmond because it would be easier for us to, to say communicate. It, to say it, and to, yeah. and work, it's easier to work with. I mean, him. So now, when hence hence the whole story of your favorite person, Nelson Mandela. I was about he, to say. He, he got to school and his name was... Uh, Nelson. Holy shit. Yeah, but he had to go with Nelson. But his teacher was like, there's no Rui way Shash. I'm going to call you that every day for five yeah. days a week. And that should have been our first red flag. <laughs> As a country, I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two, here's, a, here's a crazy story to Pops' point while you're on it. Um, what's, my, what's my other name? Junior. 
No, the uh, one you call me. Mzwake, Mzi. Yes, Mzi. Yeah. Mzi, so in school, the full name is Mzwake. Yeah. But the teachers couldn't pronounce it. So she had to spell it. And I already know Magistaga on the class list that it's my name. The dribbling thing. <laughs> so you know the letter Z? The letter Z is Z. So she'd go M, Z, and then yes, ma'am. And it's like grade four, grade five, grade six. So every time she'd say M, Z, I'd say yes, ma'am. So people thought my name was Z. Z. And then oh. that's how that came across. That's how I got pops. It makes sense. Oh, from oh. where? Which one was one? Saying Mpo wasn't easy. It's Mpo. In, in Greenside, yeah. It was Mpo or Mpo. Mpo, yeah. Um, and uh, JP got started getting upset that everyone in school, you know, my my childhood bestie, was just like, "Hey man, just call him Pops." <laughs> it's easier, it's easier because you guys are all uh, just messing it up. Uh, but I said Empo. It's not Empo, man. <laughs> it's Paul. JP's like, if you listen, a lot of people can't say Paul properly because yeah. it's three consonants before a vowel. Right? Hey. M P A. Just repeat that for the cheese gang in Sibuke. Sibuke. <laughs> <laughs> What a joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about wood. Hey, I'm not getting out of here to ask you, Jamie. I think we're back here. But then you leave that not so long ago. Hey. Yeah, even me, people mess up my name, which is crazy. How my name is T S I T S I T T. They call me Titi. Titi, yeah. yeah. Titi. <laughs> <laughs> titsy. Titsy. Yeah, titsy, titsy. They call me titsy. So, so it's interesting. I was talking to one of the producers here um, just before we started filming. And we we're talking about what kind of content as artists. The very dark or one or the light skin one? Um, <laughs> no, oh, the cheese and the oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 but anyway, so we were talking about a di- what, what we call diverse uh, products. Yeah. That for some reason, um, as black producers, we are conditioned to produce products that are going to be consumed by everybody. Mm-hmm. Where else? An African producer just produces an African story. And it goes... And it's in Africa. To, yes. Hectic. Right? That's so uh, and, and, and and what the Nigerians got really right is that they they've got they've got all sorts of languages in Nigeria. Yes. But they've got pidgin English. Yes. But then they also have a grounded Nigerian language that most Nigerians will know, will know and understand. And that's what they're going with. But for some reason, Rona Rabata. We want the Zulu it's version. Be how, how to ruin Christmas. It's gonna be otherwise. Kelly, my neighbor, is not going to understand what's going on. <laughs> right? Ah. Right? Yes, yeah. I get yeah. you. So, um, look, language is just a communication tool, I think. Yes. But in our context, in our history, it has a lot to say with how we see ourselves. Yes. We, still, we still see a black man who can't speak English properly as a... As a dumb man. Yes. We still laugh yeah. at that. We, we still, still laugh at that. We go, uh, yeah. development. Yeah. Hey. De- uh, hey. Development, hey. right? So, so it's, it's all that. Um, uh, who actually was prepared to bend over and learn who we are? Um, so if you, don't, if you don't learn my name, if you don't take time to learn if, yeah. what my name, and yes. our names have got meanings. Yes. Mulatse has got a meaning. Mpo has got a meaning. Zwake. Tim. <laughs> right? What is and if you don't take the time to learn that, why do we think, why do we think that person will want to learn our language? Hectic. It starts with the name. Mm. You know. Oh, big I, I always say to oh, my kids, big, just, big like, just say it, but what insist you... on being called your name. It's the only thing you have. That's so yeah. hectic. Yeah. Ladies and you gentlemen, know, five minutes in and we're already beyond the knowledge because here at Beyond the Eye, we make sure that everything is beyond your understanding. Beyond the Eye Studios, where studios should be. What is Georgia? <laughs> Mamela. Is that your radio voice? To beautiful commentary from a beautiful name. Uh, he goes by the name of Desmond Dube Mulashehi, as few will know in Sabuking when he's there. Ladies and gentlemen, as we have this beautiful <laughs> conversation, we are sitting in style. Of course, I'm talking about 2050 event supplies. Bus supplier, leather, bus supplier, sweetie. Titi brought his own crate. 
Asikora. Malumetes, you opened a can of worms with what you were saying. Um, yo. You know, whenever people talk about identity of, of, of like collective identity of black people, it always baffles me because it always feels like our identity is against one another. As black people, like we use mm. it to say, I'm Zulu, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. But you don't find that thing in other cultures. Like in other cultures, especially like, you know, the Caucasians, it's like we're Caucasian until there's a white person. Uh, until, until we're, Cauc- we're Caucasian until there's other Africans people. But if there's black people, we're Caucasian. As we are still Zulu, even in the in the midst of white people, like, I'm baby, I'm this, I'm that, which is a very strange thing to separate us with something that's so common. Our skin color looks the same. Yeah. yeah. Look, I think I think it's such a big missed opportunity. And, that, and that's why I was saying you opened such a big can of worms, mm-hmm. uh, Uncle Tez, because you've been in this in the industry for for decades, right? And you've seen the industry evolve, industry evolve, and, transform. Yeah fall short where it falls short. And one of the things that really hurts my heart is that, and it started years ago, where the Sutu shows would be on SABC2. Uh, the Zulu shows would be on this show, on, on this channel. The baby ones, the you know, it would separate it like that. And you mentioned this common language that they have in, in Nigeria that brings it all together. So you have a bigger audience to play to. Hence, Nollywood is, yeah. what are they, number two yeah. or number three? Nollywood in the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number three, yeah? Number three. Bollywood is Bollywood number two. Is two. Yeah. And yeah, then, and then Hollywood. <clears throat> so, with what you said. I wish him Zanti would. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey. wow. With what you said, and, and coming from where you're coming from in the industry, is there, is there a way we can fix that now? I think we can, you know. I, I mean, nothing is is unfixable, if that's a word. Mm-hmm. I think I think we can. <clears throat> I got very, very worried a couple of years ago. Um, I'm a big fan of a radio station called Jacaranda. Mm-hmm. Um, and simply because Jacaranda, I know what they were trying to do early days. And then they kind of found themselves, you know, because Jacaranda is an English and Afrikaans station. Yes. Mm. Once in a while, they'll have a katleho there who will, you know, talk to somebody on the phone on the other end of the line who speaks Sotho and then they'll speak Sotho back. Oh. And, and one day I said, I wonder what it is really that got changed after 1994 for our business, that is. Mm-hmm. For, you know, for our business. For entertainment, yeah. But the fact that we still have the same, we still have separate radio stations. Mm. We've kept the nation separate. So it doesn't matter what re blanket aka, branding a joang, yeah, rainbow nation, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. We're still separate. Because the Africans guy who doesn't want to hear from you <laughs> doesn't have to hear you. <laughs> right? Right? The, right? the Sutu guy that doesn't want to hear my baby, you can easily switch to a station. Just switch to just their own station and the language just that he wants to hear. Yeah. That's not nation building. Yeah. That's not, mm-hmm. you know, you're still keeping what should have happened is that when, when after 1994, yeah. they should have, all these industries should have stopped for a little while uh-huh. to say, now, how do we bring this nation together? Right? How do we bring all these radio stations together into un, under the same blanket? I'm not sure how that was going to happen. So that in 20 years' time, a child who's born in Limpopo will know can everything. speak to someone who speaks Zulu and they'll know how to answer that person. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So our dignity is in not only in our culture, it's also in our in the languages we speak. Mm. Right? Nelson Mandela said it. Your favorite person. <laughs> he, he said it. You want to, you want to speak to a man's heart. You speak their language, and you've seen it everywhere. Mm-hmm. If you are in an environment where you just want somebody to listen to you, if if you are in uh, the you know the Eastern Cape, and you say to somebody, "Hey, Molo Putiman, uh, I need your help." He's going to help you because you started with Molo. 
Mm. Just just that small thing. Yeah, just that small thing. Yeah. You know, you know who's actually who's actually a boss of that? Cyril Ramaphosa. Yes. Cyril can speak all our official languages. You mean the so, president, sir? Yes, yes. Did you just call him Cyril Ramaphosa? His Excellency. Okay. <laughs> I, Cyril. That's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know we don't respect the president anymore. Eh? Been, no, but, but it's not even... I, I, no, you're not without the even, one. Without even changing the co- topic, it's not even just about the presidency. We've lost ourselves. So yes. when you lose yourself, you else. love. Yeah, the structure. There's nothing. There's no structure. Yeah. You know... And what the arts, what the reason why I got into the arts, which is why I hate being called a, um, a, a celebrity. Yes. You know, so, so do we, by the way. Yeah. yeah. I hate being called a celebrity. Yes. I'll explain that another day, mm-hmm. another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> the first gift to announce but, the second yeah. episode. <laughs> but it's because um, what the arts were there for mm-hmm. was to. To, to keep order. You, actors are, are natural activists. Mm. You know, we got into, I got into acting, and so are many other actors I know, because of protest theater. Mm. Because we saw wrongs that were happening in, you know, you to just people, them on the play or and the we put them on the play. A lot of the plays that we watch, it's either something, you know, exposing some political thing or something that's happening in society. Uh-huh. These conversations, the conversations of GBV, the conversations, you know, the crime, uh-huh. are no longer on, on our stages. Sure. Mm. What's they, happening on They're just on social media now. They just yeah. trend on social media yeah. and they scare us because we go, oh, this is, this is, these are the heinous crimes that are happening. Yeah. So, so you, have a, you, you have that, you have... Uh, a non-existent storytelling to bring the nation together. There is none. But instead, what becomes bigger now is Ndatao. Udatao. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Ndatao. 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 Yeah. Hey, the way you said Ndatao. Ndatao. Who tells this one? Hey, hey. Well, you might. <laughs> <there, man. laughs> And and so we're churning out all of these products now. We're beginning to churn out all these all of these products that are not really. If, if we were to sit down and somebody, you know, educated people were to do a study, and you ask, how are these beneficial to, to society? Not, to I, the society and the reality. And space. it's not that we 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 don't we don't acknowledge that some of us are about time and see you, but nobody actually talks about. Why time and release you? Mm. You know that, that thing, yeah, forced migration. Uh-huh. Yes. For my time, I go to Eastern Cape, but was Pana, you know, the uh-huh. So now they're like starting another family, uh-huh. you know, uh, whether he thinks of it as a family or a kim, ke, Meantime ke situation ke, while I'm here. Ke yeah. ke ane, and then he goes back, mm. and suddenly now their, their kids left here. And then Ronald's like, I can marry it. Arba Salem Rao. So, what the hell is Mm. So there's no backdrop of that reality, the reality of, the of, of saying there was a why before that. And we need to address that why. I've heard this chat before about that. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. The shows that are being portrayed currently, like <coughs> like Brothers is saying, they, they bring, not to say they bring nothing back, but if we were to compare the positive and the insight and the motivation versus the drama and the hype. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like that's all we're being fed now. Yeah. Because of the fact that we've lost ourselves and there's no longer substance. Yeah. Yeah. We're hurt people. Yeah. We're people don't people. even greet anymore. Yeah. yeah. Earlier I said, <laughs> I said, you know, you know when you don't know the weapon that hurt that caused the wound on mm-hmm. you. Yes. Yes. You 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 read your everything. reaction yeah. is that your reaction is that everything is a weapon. Because mm-hmm. you haven't identified the actual problem. Yeah. You haven't identified weapon. which the the, the weapon that inflicted that pain, that, mm. you know, so I get to worry, so I get to worry, oh, you're not here, you're not here, you're not here, you're not here, like two parts. So, which is why people have become so sensitive to, to comments, to, uh, <laughs> which one is this one? Like what? Like Tupac. Like Tupac. Tupac, come on. Tupac, what's that? Remember, Tupac got shot, then he woke up and he didn't know who shot him. Then Biggie was there, then he was like, it was you. 
<laughs> and, and then you went, you went to go record a song. That's why I did this. I to get you. Okay. you know, like, I get you. It's yeah, like the, the Bible speaks voice. about it when the Bible says I, walking I the light. You, but I, I'm realizing now, <laughs> Titi is going to be my son in law. Like, <laughs> this is what I'm going to have to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when the Bible speaks about it, um, follow Christ for he's the light. And when you walk in the light, if if I get tripped by something, like I can see, or oh, it's a cable or it's a box, then I can know to avoid it in future or how to walk around it. But if you get tripped in the darkness, the same thing that's been tripping you for the five years is going to continue to... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so we don't... We, we're hurt. We're hurt people. So now we're, we're beginning to attack everything. I, I mean, I made a joke earlier on, or it's like, okay, ZN. And one day we're busy talking about avocados. And he just attacked the whole... Avocado, the whole Limpopo avocado thing, or you know, and I went, my brother, what, who hurt you? Avocado, bro. Yeah, it's an avocado. Was he taking them because the Limpopo ones are bigger? I don't know what, what that issue is. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. so we're talking about the avocado. Yeah. Everything in Limpopo I saw what you bigger. did. <laughs> I chose to ignore it. <laughs> Turn into a mohulu. So go Kimba did you want? I know avocado too. See, we just see. I wonder why Nikisa was too entertaining, right? Yes. You could see when it was going a mile away. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yes, you say because of this hurt, we keep going. Mm. We everybody's a suspect, maybe in simple terms. Everyone is. Mpo is a comedian, stands up on stage, says something. It's, and it's normally not the people who should be offended that are offended. It's mm-hmm. the people who are who are standing up for the other people. Mm. The spokespeople. Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah. you, and then you realize... The spokespeople. You realize or it's just hurt. It's just pain. And this person doesn't know the difference between humor and, um, <laughs> and a statement anymore. Yes. Like we no longer know... Grand, grand. It's a was joke, a it's a fact. Was it a joke? It's was it a humor. fact? Yes. Was, was it a yes. alleged story that was told? You know? So because of those traumas, would you, ex- would you say that explains why we've become so sensitive as a, as a people, as a nation? And have we, have we recovered from the wounds of what we went through as a country? Mm. It's a good question, and I don't know if I can ask, answer that question. <clears throat> but I think one of the things that gave me a little bit of a of a headway, because I think we're all in the sea, swimming towards land. Yeah. Some of us have gone further. Uh-huh. Some of us are still in the deep end. That's a dope analogy, yeah. right? Um, but I I, I I I believe that it's because we can we can sort of what was your question? <clears throat> Jorge, do you feel like? Is that, do you think that's why we're so sensitive? Is that the reason why we're all sensitive? We're so sensitive because we, we still we, we haven't recovered from these we haven't traumas. Recovered. And, traumas. And have we given ourselves time to recover since, yeah. since the news? We've made happened. the traumas our identity. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the time to recover that I wanted to speak to. Mm-hmm. So have we given ourselves time to recover? No, because we don't know who we are. Mm. Mm. So I think, I think where I started finding a little bit of peace because it's a Kimbali chance, you know, for, sorry, for my young, for, for, my, for my young age. Apologies. You know, yeah. I grew up, I grew up in, I grew up in Kimberley a little bit in KZN, but mostly in Joburg. So, and, and I'm saying this because in, in Kimberley, the reaction most of the time is that you offend me. We roll. Kilo Black Sam. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I had to navigate through that uh, as as a man growing up who wants to build a family. So the fact that, you, go, that you are here. I need to understand who I am. Yes. And if I understand who I am, it's very, it's very rare for people who know who they are to be offended. Offended, yes. I was so it's, a, yes. it's, a, it's like, a very interesting dynamic. If yes. you know who you are, something shouldn't yeah. offend you. Yeah. Like If you know, that's not who I am. Mm. And people say you are, you go, Yo. That's hey, such a demon. big chat. <laughs> so you, you go, hey, that boy. <laughs> so you, yeah, you know? yeah. But if you don't know who you are, you are everything. So, so you react to everything. You know, someone... If you don't stand yes. for something, you'll fall yeah, for Someone it. says, upar. Yeah, someone says, upar. Yeah, upar. 
Because that barry touched them. Because that barry it touched them. Touched them. them. Mm. Something. It's an insecurity you, you have. So there's an inner barry. There's an inner barry somewhere. Mm. Or, or there is no inner barry. You just think there is. Yeah. Because maybe you have a trauma of being told who yeah. bar. Jay-Z, yeah. he was talking about Tupac now. Jay-Z said in one of the interviews, I think it was a Times Magazine interview, he said, that's why Machitako Kasi, you could literally lose your life because you were looking at him. So the guy goes, what are you looking at? Because in his mind, he's going, what is he looking at? He sees me. He sees my weaknesses. Mm. So just already feeling he sees all these things that I'm so insecure. insecure about. Yeah. That's what he's looking at. And then he's mm. But if you know who you are, it doesn't matter who's looking at you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yeah. Did you wanted to say something. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, yeah. you, said it wrong. <laughs> you are insane. No, I, I wanted to say, like, it's, for me, it seems like sensitivity is, is, is linked to weak, weakness. I see it as weakness as well because people who are super, super sensitive usually require, the, usually have the least amount of information about anything. So, like, we did a sh- we did a show a couple well it'd be a couple of weeks now where there was a guy who was sitting on a wheelchair and he wanted to get to the toilet and someone had to bring him a chair. Then I was like, ah, but what are you gonna do for the standing ovation? I was on stage, so I was like, what? How are you gonna give me a standing ovation? <laughs> 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 and he laughed, you know, he laughed. <laughs> But everyone else was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, but you guys don't know what you guys are doing. This guy came to a comedy show, whether he's disabled or not. He wants to be included. He wants to be included. By the virtue of not including him, you're excluding him and you're making him feel alienated. They went to to Prates' point. They went, ah. He was laughing. Mm. He was entertained by that. Yeah. He even let me me sit on Mm. his lap and he took me like up and down. True story, true story. Wait. Say that again? Oh, Wait, what? Is he, he, I, I think it's Titi. time to Titi. keep quiet now. Titi. He, he did what? <laughs> Just say it again? He, he did, I was taking a picture of him, so he let me sit on his lap. And, he, and then he? He, he like rode, like... <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, 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 guy oh, lift. Oh, no. <laughs> you, see, you see why we are sensitive? <laughs> <laughs> Too shit. Ah. What's going on? Too shit, Donaka. Too shit. <laughs> but yeah, that, that happened, and, and I remember like I had to apologize on stage to people that have nothing to do with the situation, and I was angry at myself for doing for apologizing for apologizing, apologizing to them. Not like if he was offended by anything I had said, but mm. it wasn't coming from a malicious place either way. But I felt dirty for apologizing to people that had nothing to do with the situation because you understood where it was coming from. It was a yeah. joke, and it was. In what it was intended for happened, he laughed, and that was from your perspective. Now it's like we're gonna live our lives apologizing to everybody for taking offense on other people's behalf. And apologies that you don't even mean. That's the problem. Mm. So, nice. so we've we've now become uh, Twitter has now become our is it called X now? Yeah. It's now become our no one calls it our X. therapy place. Yeah. You know, which is, a, which is one of the most dangerous things. Do you know why I'm not on Twitter? Are you not on Twitter? Data. No. <laughs> Did you just say Data? Data. Ah, Data. Ah, Data. Ah, tell Boba. First of all, I think I think we we my, my you know uh, um technology. Talk technologically. Wow, sure. Technologically. Technologically. But we are speaking to a yeah. robot. Yeah. Yes. A robot. <laughs> um, but secondly, I, it, I got totally confused when I started seeing people who were following me with a name like Zebra101. <laughs> That's this is ghost account. I don't get it. Because now when I started it, I had my real name. Yes. You know what I mean? Then I went, Tweeting why? your real thoughts. Yeah, mm. right? Then I went, why? Why would people then want to have aliases? And it occurred to me, Hori, nothing else lives behind the veil of darkness except mm. demonic thoughts. Mm. Right? 
But you know, I know people right now. I know people who have their real account. Then they've got a two fin- other accounts. A fingster. It's called a fingster. It's a fake, called a fingster. A fake Instagram account. Mm. Right. Mm. But right. also other So they can say things, whatever. Whatever they want. They, on whatever the other they want one, yeah. on the other one. And I go, but is that you? Because... If, if it was you, you could have just said it you with your just said it with, with your, your normal idea. No, you're not saying it. You're, you're covering up with the darkness to say, yeah. yeah. You have to hide and say, I hate Mbopops. Then <laughs> just say, hi. Here, here's, here's, a, here's a funny story that I heard because I was telling the story to somebody else, uh, to a young lady who is on social media. And she said, do you know that some of these people will have three fake accounts and one real account? The three accounts will attack Mpopops. And then the real account will then come to defend Mpo. All in the same. All in the same. So they can yeah. threat, you know. That is so crazy. What is that? It's crazy. What's that? It's crazy. Like what, what kind of damage is that to people where you... Listen, guys, I don't, I don't know if you understand. You know, to start a fake account. Kiss funny, like that. Kiss no, no, color Instagram, I can't even spawn. And I did it because I've got teenagers for daughters. Now you're and fine. And they're like, oh, Dad, you gotta get an Instagram, Dad. And then they would send me stuff, and then I can't open them because, because I don't have says, Instagram. Yeah, login. <laughs> now I need your email. You're like, Moon. You know, now I have to operate. Right? So I was like, okay, 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 I'll do it. And and I remember how what a what a what a mission it was just to do it. Uh-huh. So I, I always think for yeah. people who who have those when you start going, I want to have a fake account. Lina. <laughs> two things, two dangerous things. Because no, funny enough, in our country, the, the leading accounts in our country mm-hmm. are all ghost accounts. Right. Like the Excel, uh, what, what? Chris, Chris Excel, Excel, Advocate Barry Roo. Uh, Advocate Barry Roo. Uh, is it Daniel Marvin? I have no or? idea. I know oh, Daniel Marvin is a good person. Barry Roo, I got a key out here. I go Oscar Pistorius. But someone did yeah, a parody so account. It says not. It says advocate. not. Oh, not, right, right. Yeah, so right. these are like the leading ah, accounts. Ah, that's the thing that um, uh, Sir, Sir Lo Chico Twala did a, a video. Saying, yeah, we're not very rude. Yeah, now we're going to show your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 it's like, hey, I'm confused. Ramon, Nick, I'll say. Ramon, Ramon, too. Nelly, now, now, judgment. Yeah, yeah. Every four Ramon. Yeah. Oh, Nelly, now, judgment. Yeah, oh, he's doing the sense of Mewa case. Not very rude. Very rude. The real very rude. Yeah, he's he he doing the uh, Senzo Mewa's case. They brought him in. Yeah, through the Afri Forum. Through for Afri Forum. Yeah. Okay, yo, I I tuned out of that uh, yeah. years ago. Yeah, I mean, that uh, case. Uh, yeah. So, but do you see that? Do you see that pattern? Where mm. and and Paul asked a very important question earlier to say how do we how do we fix that? Mm-hmm. And there's no way of fixing society without fixing families. Mm. I have admitted. I, 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 so, I, 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 yeah. Class is in So how we fix today. this is that we become present at home as a father, yes. as a mother, mm. but not only present, you actually break down what it means to be a parent mm. for a future of, of the country and the people or and mm. your, your own children, you know. Yeah. So um, somebody was arguing with me and said, you know, they say 70% of uh, parenting is just being there. I was like, mm, where did you grow up? <laughs> no, you can't just be there. Don't. Yeah. yeah. You must you go spawn. Yeah. You must provide. You must provide. But also your kids must know, Jorge, papote. Like, if I walk into the house and the janadikates and everything, it's it's a mess and their mom is not there. My my kids know, Jorge, eh, yeah. that guy is on his way. Yeah. 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 Right? Mm. And it's not because I punch walls or anything, but it's just there's a hierarchy in my Structure family. There's a, there's a government in my authority in, in, in my family. Spirit. There's an understanding that Jorge, that's mom's role. Uh-huh. That's dad's role. Uh-huh. And you want to see that guy mad, make his wife mad. Uh-huh. Yeah, because uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, the two work together. Right? Yes. So, yeah. and, and we and, formed and, this coalition before you arrived. And, you are the new parties in this house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all this, this shouting at, you know, uh, top of our lungs, Hori, 
baby dead who you slay, I say, and then we think we're going to raise a son yeah. who's going to yeah. be to, to be a builder. No, it's not. Uh, you know, in, uh, in, in order to, to get that right, in order to get our society right, we need to go back to families, yeah. to, to being responsible in the family unit, yeah. raising families. We've got other nationalities in South Africa, Chance, that are going to beat us. Mm. that are going to beat us out of even governing this country one day. And all because they are quite united. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree you with know, you 100%. If yes. you go to the Muslim families, I've got Muslim friends, I've got Indian mm -hmm. friends, and you see how those families operate. I'd call it equality. It's not even, it's not even a, a, a debate. They'd rather fight one another here together. In the household. Yeah. But we are busy. We're busy everywhere. We're busy saying things about our women. We're saying things about our men. About our men. You know, we about our kids. About our kids. You know, um, and and then we think we're go we're building the solid nation. We we're not. We're not. Broke my heart when I saw the young lady um, who was abused in China. You know that story. I don't know if you guys saw that video. No. But she was also on the news. And obviously, as a father, I go, why then would our children leave this country? You know, we're busy calling, calling ourselves the richest, yeah, we're one of the richest countries in Richest Africa. square mile. The America, the richest, the America richest of square, Africa. The America of Africa. Mm. Um, it's not even real Africa, you know. You know. Africa um, it's Africa light. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's at the tip of the continent. Mm. What is Lesotho? It doesn't count as. You know, and... And, but we're busy losing our kids to other countries, to the very same people we think we're fighting. Mm. Here's an interesting thing. Yeah. Here's an interesting thing. So we know this about African leaders. I use that term loosely. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm very loose, very, 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 very loose. Beep, 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 beep. Bars. 27 years, very loose. One of, one of my favorite African leaders is, um, is the Rwandan president, Paul Kagame. Yes. Because Paul Kagame uh, was very clear that if you're a minister in Rwanda, uh -huh. why is your child going to school? in Focus. Canada, yes. and we're now Minister of Education mm. here. Mm. So, Obereka Lamang, Shap Shap. Eh, we're now sabatling one hour, I consume. That's, yeah. Mm. You don't want your family in this thing that you're working for. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. I mean, so it's, a, yeah. it's a crazy idea. It's a, it's a crazy idea, but this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the arts and, and, and activism. Yeah, the arts. Is that we've got that third eye where we see, we see this BS. And we're going to go, mm -hmm. how is this happening? Like, how am I expecting that guy to be the counselor or go to Togoza and do great work for Togoza? Because, but as soon as we elected him, he moved out of Togoza. Yo, <laughs> but Prates, don't you think Crazy. the reason why a lot of this stuff also happened within the arts, right? This, this activism you talk about. Don't you think Khurbabi Lebar shut her down at some point? Um, and, and, and also, I want to use this opportunity to talk about like how you started and the theater that you were doing when you started, right? At some point, don't you think it was shut down because of what it was doing? The and how it was influencing people, how it was influencing behavior. Um, because we don't have that anymore. Yeah, but maybe, um, I mean... Uh, I, I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, mm -hmm. but I, I, I watch systems mm -hmm. and how systems work. Mm -hmm. And so unless if the people who are running these systems can come out and defend themselves and say, no, no, no. The reason why we're no longer telling stories in this way, it's because. Our viewers like We can only sit here and say, it's because these guys think we're going to hurt them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so because they are at the helm, I mean, I mean, you know, comedy, I was watching how earlier on we were just, it was just, it's, it, comedy is flawless, man. Yeah. It's, it's part of our DNA. It's yeah. just, it's just who we are. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's bound to, 
to offend somebody who's not present. Mm -hmm. But it's going to make other people laugh. laugh. That's so crazy. You, you know what I mean? Because sense of humor is not the same for everybody. Yes. So what, what started happening is that, uh, you know, the days of Budube on Monday, which is years ago. Before I just realized that. Yeah, before, no, it was actually, yeah, it was before. It was before. Yeah. 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 Um, we were given the, the freedom or rather the, the guidance yes. to create. Yeah. And then a commissioning editor would sit in that room to watch the process. And once in a while they'll go, ah, guys, no, 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 guys, it's funny, but ah, ah, hey, guys, no, don't, don't do that. Now they want you to write every joke to the T. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. Now when you, when you say, I'm doing a comedy show, the joke has to be written to the T. Mm. And somebody who's not a comedian will pick up a word in that. Out of context. Out of context. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the word bloody ish. No, yeah. so the whole sketch can't work again mm. because you're Kunale saying bloody and it's a family show. Yeah, and it's a family show. Can I ask you an interesting question? Eh? Like when obviously like you worked with uh, Leon Schuster, right? And also like taking into account your, your character and the way you, you're angling when you angle, like you're very wholesome as a person. You want to understand the situation without, without judgment first, understand the situation. When Leon Schuster was getting canceled and, and all that stuff too, like what were you, what were you think, what, what, what was your thought process about the entire thing? Because... Personally, I don't feel like Leon Schuster deserves to be cancelled. And anybody, if you cancel me for that, then I'll go wherever Leon Schuster is and we'll love to get. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I personally don't feel like it, it, it was fair for him to get cancelled. Uh, or whatever happened to him, I don't feel like it was entirely deserved. What were you feeling around that time? Yeah. It's interesting. We, we also give these... Demonic words. Yeah, so much power. Out. Like cancelling. Cancel I don't know. Come on. Who would cancel Leon Schuster? Like, because just you said something on Twitter, you think Leon Schuster is going to get cancelled? Yeah. No. Yeah, I didn't. Leon that. Schuster was not cancelled. Yeah. He's not cancelled. Yeah. But do you, you see the don't power have the of power. this Twitter yeah. thing you're talking no, about? No, but there is no power. You give it power. Mm. You give it power with the corporations. Because corporations suddenly... Because they don't, corporations don't understand the markets they they are feeding, or rather they are servicing. And the groundwork. So so as soon as Khobali something about somebody, they they kind of go, oh my goodness, so we can't, no, we can't. Let's uh, stay away yeah. from him for a while. Until and and, the, and obviously there there are certain things where we, we, yes. we where we kind of say, dog, you can't beat up your wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. Yeah. and then yes. <laughs> yeah. hey, but you're talented, eh? no. Yeah. No. No. no, no, you know what I mean. Yeah. There are obviously those kind of things, but but what is cancelling? You know, so so your question is what what was my thought about the cancelling? Yes. Leon Schuster started doing films when I was a kid, right? Yeah. <laughs> when um, I was a kid, sure. Yeah. sure. sure. And I don't know if a lot of you Six know Leon Schuster was a teacher in, in the Free State. Uh, yeah. And then started kind of seeing her, no, man, hey, you know, he's a prankster. Yes. He's a prankster, which is, yeah. he played into his strengths. The gold. By, by just kind of going, you know, I was a teacher, then he worked for the SABC. While he was in the SABC, he was like, there's an opportunity to produce a show, you know, uh, or, prank, or shows, yeah, or yeah. Prank, prank, uh, prank shows. Panic mechanic. But that was for that time. That humor has worked for years for a lot of people. Mm. Then suddenly, Rebale woke St. Benedict's oh. uh, Illumina. Uh -huh. mm. You know, that's actually... That's um, blackface. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was, it, was, was that the thing? So the, the thing that there was... Was that the thing? Yeah, okay. it was like... Okay. And, and, and that's why Titi says, if, if Leon gets cancelled, he'll go with him. I share the same sentiment yeah. because okay, so I, I, so it I remember a, it, laughing at those yeah, things. Yeah, you know? me three. I I wasn't sitting there going, Amar Leon, what are you doing? But I can't be now the same person twenty years later because now we're starting to go. 
Ah, man, this thing is wrong. Now we're going to go dig up a 20-year-old file yeah. and say, let's cancel this man today Yo. because of what he did. At the time, it made sense. At the time, it was funny. The moment. You know, Eddie Murphy has jokes about gay people mm. in his very famous special. In 1987. Yes. Mm. We cannot cancel Eddie Murphy today mm. because of his 1987 comments. Yeah, I also feel like people steal away from people's moments in life. Like, people are innocent of moments. If you don't know something, you find it funny. That's your moment. And you enjoyed that moment without any of this malicious mm. education that they give us now. Then when they give you malicious education, now, now you know how much depression you'll have now judging something that you can't change 10 years ago. I laughed and I cried. I laughed, I cried. Now they think if you laugh at this... You, you, or you were wrong for laughing. You were laugh Then. Then. Now you're looking at it again, trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, when you watch it again, hey, it's still funny. It's still funny. Like, it's, still, no it's still funny. But this is the odd word that I'm talking comedy. about. Yeah, like... Yeah. like Spanish are on Amphetasi, so start. Mm-hmm. We, you have no idea. We, we, you know, Tyler Perry started this whole movement of Holy telling studio. the black people stu- stories. Stories, mm-hmm. yes. And most of his stories are building the black family. Black community. Yes, yeah, the black community. If yes. you watch any of Tyler Perry's work, from the theater uh, stuff that he does, mm-hmm. right to, to his series. films and yeah. TV show, he's building the black family. We almost have to have that kind of agenda where we go, we're building. The stories are running, are going in this direction. Mapunapuna ratsiba hore ate. Ratsiba hore batubatsu bo. Mar haricho ba bea pepe nini? Right? Yes. Facts. Right? Yes. Facts. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, some of this stuff is laughable. I, I, I was watching something um, and a guy was holding a gun in that video and the YouTuber blurred the gun, right? And I go, so you blur a gun? Marlipona. Marlipona lona ralibon. Marlipona le <laughs> How do you think you got here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Boy, Jojo. Uh-uh. <laughs> you got here through LIB, Pops. Morena. Kikupela. Kipota potui. Kupora pela chance. No, man, but I hear, <laughs> I, I hear like, what you're saying loud yeah, and clear. I get, I get you. Loud and clear. Yeah, have you seen the, 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 the craze in, in nudity? Like, and also, like, remember, like, you know, I'm dating an actor, you know? So, like, every time I see on TV, you know, like, <laughs> and I'm always like, why whenever you are in the screen? Why about Suna every time? Like, the, there's love stories that you can tell. Without Without having, bro, like our parents, most of our, okay, my parents, right, or most of our parents or growing up, there was not really physical affection that you saw between your parents. You know, there was never like, I know, Betanaka Lamza in front of you. It was always respectable. And that's how I grew up. So that's that's yeah. Yeah, sorry to cut you. It's like the numbers in Zinos and Tizo did on television were very high, very entertaining, very clean. No nudity. No. Lamza. Yes. I've never seen Shuralia Shapa Mutuka Lamza. Ah, uh, Pops, I get why, because it's from the British Empire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pops, on Timber It's like, what, what, what I'm seeing also with the comments on the music video, people are like, ah, oh, very clean, very dope, no naked girls, just pure yeah. creativity. So, so, what you guys are saying is that we need responsibility in the arts. We do. We need to be responsible. We do. Even, even our narratives, yeah. uh, uh, sure. days, I feel like I feel like a lot of our stories, and look, I, you know, I commend everyone for telling these beautiful stories, but I feel like we're also at a point where um, a lot of our stories focus on the negativity. Mm. It's all about crime families. It's all about syndicates. It's all about drugs, taxi violence, uh, you know, it's always like, like we this. We need like a step up movie or we, something. There's, there's, there's nothing that's, that's too, too, wow, wow. You just want to roll. 
No. <laughs> it's it's so it was you've been auditioning for this role your whole ah. life. But also, no, so but also you can know, step up like our thinking. Uh. Yeah. But but even in our step up <laughs> movie, the reason why that guy dances is because his father left him. Yeah. This. <laughs> but that's not the highlight. Yeah. Of the, you know. But so, what I'm so saying is that our reasoning, be, be, like our reasoning behind, like our inspiration is always coming from the most negative places ever. Yeah. Like. You'll never tell a story. Bro, I always tell people I never grew up poor, right? And I'm not saying we're rich, but like we're just happy with whatever we had. From primary school, from Limpopo, to moving to Jovic, to moving to Cape Town, to moving to... I never had the best of anything. We never had the best of anything. But we had the best of whatever we could see, whatever it is. Oh. And, and there was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing wrong with it. But whether these, you have these current shows will make you feel like there's something wrong with not having what... You watch this reality show, there's these young women shouting at old nannies to look after their kids, and they're driving around in the most expensive seven, eight million rand cars. Mm. And that's, it's not just that type, of, there's, a, there's a lot of shows that are like that, that are designed to make you feel some type of way about your life. Mm. That's the same thing that social media does. Social media literally makes you feel some type of way for only having one mm. pair of jeans a car a and, job uh, yeah make you feel like make you feel bad for having a job dude, yeah. dude. social media will glorify this thing of being unemployed and making money and make you feel bad for for having for, a job for having a job when when the world shut down it was all the people with jobs that kept the world going bruh mm. <laughs> the nurses the nurses, the shop people, the, the, security, the security, those people How kept the world going. The received. actors, mm. actors had to put their lives on the line during, to during keep COVID. Shooting things to keep during shooting, sh to make things seem like they're normal. Mm. There was no one with a mask on Gomorrah when Gomorrah would, the people were shooting. You know what I mean? Mm. And yet we were all wearing masks. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. We glorify nonsense, man. Our, I, I think our, our biggest weakness as a people, and I'm talking about the people of the South in particular, okay. is that by the South, I mean South Africa. No? Oh, hey, 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 What did Mondio hey, ever do hey, to you, Uncle Des? I just, hey. I could hear Mondio guys going, I'm fine. <laughs> but I think one of the biggest weaknesses um, is that We've never gotten to a place where we allow ourselves to say, I don't know how. Mm. Mm. Okay? So mm. I don't know how. I don't know how. Hey, Jens, you've elected me to be a counselor. I don't know how to do it. It allows room mm. for change and yeah. excellency instead of I know it all and fail. Yeah. Um, Jens, I have a baby, but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm a daddy. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> and it's I okay need, to say I need it. the help of it. Mm. How do you? Hey, when I get born, I'm an English doctor. The media are going to make a move. I know who's going to lambs. Me na bang tuga, right? Hang on, this job. Yeah, how? How? We don't talk about these things. Mm. Right? We don't. So we come from an environment where we we are shy to be vulnerable. Mm. To say, I'm not going to see you know. So and it's okay to say I don't know. Mm. There's, there's, there's a maturity in saying, I don't know, mm. or I don't know how. Mm. So right now we're surrounded by everybody who says, I know. You know, and even when you're talking to somebody, you know, you know how we, you're talking to someone and they go, I know, I know. No, you don't know. Otherwise, I wouldn't tell you the story. Sure. Uh -huh. Outside this story. They're not listening to learn, they're listening to respond. Listening to respond. So... So I still think there's a lot of work. Um, I was very happy to see Loena Vana, you must come to the theater, to see Umpo coming to watch We Shall Sing for the Fatherland. I, I was yeah. there too. Yeah, you were there too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know. And you were, yeah? I know. I get him fed too. I agree the ghost man boy. <laughs> I was the reason he was there. I know. Oh, really? <laughs> Tiki brood pops. Yeah. You see this thing of... Yeah. Loena, so there's a fellow fire. The plus one, it's a famous. Because <laughs> then I saw one. <laughs> if the two of you were in an accident, 
But for the pop-up, see, what it have been? And one other guy. Yeah. No, we don't even say friend. One other guy. So, nigga plus one, yeah, you fool. Plus one, any fool. Yeah. Which one is this one? Benefits <laughs> of Beyond the Grave. Beyond, Beyond the, the Grave. grave. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Balbetes. Uh, uh, it would be, uh, I would be remiss. It's cool. 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 It's useless because be I wouldn't even know how to spell it. If, if we didn't talk about the biggest. Longest lasting advertising bag. stint bag in the history in the history of South Africa. Of South Africa. You know, and I and I often say this, you know, I, I might have said it on stage once or twice. Hmm. Um that you you are the worst brand ambassador in the world. Okay. Because how bored. Yeah. <laughs> You see, this is where uh, this is where you young people and you're dumb. This is where the one show it's nice. Insurance is not about dying. Yes. It's about living. Otherwise, if you die, how how are we profiting? Robot one or respond. <laughs> what the what? Oh, how cool it is. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, get ready to light here. Or oh, there's a porile. You can't. Because the ribbon is more blue. In fact, I think that's why the reason, that's the reason why it's successful. It's because our tail has been there. There, I tag. He's a constant. You're a rare tag in the room. Yeah, it's on a list. Actually, that's a dope one. Yo, man, like. The reason why I bring out this 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 clientele thing is you've gone through every single stage and phase with this clientele insurance gig. How did you get it? How long have you had it? And how has the journey been? Okay, so how did you get it? Um, we were doing uh, what they call in-house videos. Mm-hmm. Okay couple of years ago. So... Um, I'm that, it's got a couple of years. Okay. It's five years ago. A <laughs> <laughs> few decades. Okay. Yeah. 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 Before World Cup. Yeah. It, it's because I'm, 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 st- I'm still... Which before World Cup. I don't know. You were born in 2010. <laughs> no, no. 2010 is my favorite year of okay. all time. All right. Same. Man. Of course. That makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. <laughs> Ask your dad that question. <laughs> Can't. Hi. <laughs> Which one did after one? World Cup? <laughs> yes. 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 So when, anyway, to answer, so to answer the question, so that's what the relationship was. So uh-huh. there were in-house videos. So it, sort of to say behind the scenes. Yeah. And then I think at some point, um, the brand decided that they, it, it needed a face. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't know if a lot of people don't know this. Kanye Romo was in that space before me. I think um, I might remember Kanye Kanye Romo. Yeah, yes, is that make sure. sure? She 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 used to be in that space before. Did you just say Kanye Mbao? Who's Kanye Romo? Kanye Romo. Yeah, read and done. Read, read. You, I can say read. That's a woman you should know, by the way. Why? Read. Oh, yeah. The journalist. It's a woman you should know. That that is yeah, anyway. So anyway, so um it you know, they were looking at a couple of people and so on, but uh, and I think one guy said, hang on, do on Monday, because at the time everybody called me to be on Monday. Mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. You've got the guy right here. In fact, he's creating your um, it, you know, some of your value systems in mm-hmm. right here. Yeah. Yeah. Why not mm. use that guy? So clientele has got a, a division called IFA, which is the Independent Field Advertisers. These are any, anybody really who wants to become a member of clientele, but will also become sort of a sales person on the street. Uh-huh. You know, 
not necessarily on the street, but but yeah, but you, could, on the like ground. Yeah, you could you could literally on the ground. say, uh, you know, come to my presentation. Da, 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 da. So this is big. It's a it's a massive uh, hidden gem in the country, and that became what got me around. So yes, I was brand ambassador for clientele, but IFA sort of got me in front of in front of and the pe- people, people, yes. people. Yes. And when that happened, I became the, the clientele guy, the representative for clientele, meaning now clientele, the, all the brands. Remember, we, I, I started with clientele, uh, the funeral product, right? Now I'm on all clientele products. Yes. It's, you know, it's hospital. It's, uh, Your hospital one legal. is my favorite one. Yeah, yeah. I also take them. I take these them. people are expensive. Yeah, <laughs> when you came off the bed. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> and the machine so, kept on going. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> <laughs> Stupid. No, they feel like your soul. What is this? Your pain, like that So then, that's how I became brand ambassador. Um, <laughs> but it was a very hard sort of thing to do as an artist. Mm. Why would you say that? Because I think I think it was a it was one of those What did, did other artists serious? say you were selling out? What was it? Was it before that? I didn't really care about them. Yeah, but they yeah. did. did you feel Later it was they too did. serious. But before that, it was too serious. Ah, I think yeah. it was it was a it was a world where I was like, I don't know. There's no because you come from a, a world where you play. Where I you, play. You do yeah. humor. You There's do no sketches. Rules. I play. Mm-hmm. I play. Now this is a brand, and the brand has got colors and rules. And you can't play with the colors. Mm. Right? Yeah. Suddenly, yeah. you can say tire red. It's only when a little mm. public, you know. Yeah. It so, so that space was became a little bit difficult in the first almost felt of, limiting. Yes. Yeah. To your creativity. Because as 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 funny people, you also have funny executions, you mm. know. And you want to say, hey, like, I would have been yeah. in the boardroom saying, and then I open the casket and I come. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. You um, know what the funny thing is, though? For every clientele ad that I've done, I've oh, got a funny you, version of it. I thought you were going to say I came out. I yeah. actually came out of a thing. Ah, really? Oh, yeah, a funny version. For every clientele ad I've done, mm. I've got a funny version of that ad. So as soon but as you... That's what keeps you going. It. No, you've never, you'll never see it. Oh, so, no. so, so, so wait, see well, but there, so you shoot what the client wants. And then you say, can I do it my own take? At the end, the, you have your own take. And yourself. we enjoy it. Director's cut. You know, some of the execs kind of go, How we, never, we just never, the rule is never to share it because people might miss what you call That's it. That's such a dope way to you know, get you yeah. into, like you get, yeah. how many so, of these have you done? No, I've got a couple. I've got a couple that, you know, there's a funny version of that ad. That's so crazy. Uh, Please, can we arrange gonna, a viewing? Because uh, yeah, it satisfies you, your creative side, and how you feel. And then the client, the one that the client's happy with gets to be out. Yeah. It's like Shia, dog. And I understand. Oh, I understand oh, the rules. My, my mind is so... And, and this, fortunately please, for me, I want to come watch. Yeah. Please. Well, fortunately can for I me, the first, as is plus the first three years... <laughs> Plus three. Okay, Which one is one? Plus three. I can also cover this plus one. Is it plus one? <laughs> so fortunately for me, the first three years, I was kind of able to figure that out. Yeah. That see see the brand as a holy space. You know, I almost said parliament, as a church. Yeah. Mm. And even the funniest guy in church, will he still... You know, you know, run around. You don't need to look and say no. You know, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that space does not require that. Yes. It's not that they don't know that you're a comedian mm-hmm. in the church. Mm-hmm. They the know environment in the space. The environment of that calls space calls for a specific. It behavior. calls for some specific behavior. Yeah. It's like sitting around bontati, but wa bontati. Where amount of the rata, but how double la kampa. You know, you know what I mean. It's a, so I then got to understand that quite quickly. So by the time. The peers in the industry, people were like, ah, hey, you know, Atlanta, you know, now Desmond Tube, you know, they've taken a funny guy away from us. I was like, hey, never, never come back in the colo. colo. And truth be told, that is the truth. The yes, truth no. is, it's... I was able to see, I was able to benefit the companies benefiting. 
Yes. You both grew. Yeah. So I was able to see that balance that mm-hmm. became like a real mutual family friendship, brother, where I kind of saw I'm benefiting, family's benefiting. But I think for me, the win was, was that I now had the, the ability to do what most other artists couldn't do. And that is, if I don't want to be in a series, I can say... Uh, you don't have to take... Yeah. Oh, you don't have to think with your stomach. Yeah. Heck if I you. don't want to, I can say, no. I, I Not for Which me. is where a lot of yeah. people need to be, actually. Yeah. Because yeah. you end up taking things because you're thinking with your stomach. And it's like a... Yeah. And our, you're not our, thinking with your stomach. It's, a, it's your reality. It's your reality. Mm-hmm. Our, 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 our industry, which uh, Uncle there said he will talk to us about, uh, our industry, unfortunately, especially when it comes to the acting space, our actors don't get paid a lot of money, bro. Um, they don't, don't get paid a lot of money. Yeah, you don't get paid a lot of money at all. And, and you, you kind of... That's why even some of our biggest stars right now, you see them on four or five different productions. Still lining up, dog, an audition. Yeah. You, you know, and still at an audition I've because... I've understood that. Because essentially working on a big show should set you up. If you look at the model in any other country, some people will do mm. one hit TV show and they'll be sorted for the rest life. of their life. No, but you need to change the rules, the copyright rules of your country. Your country says, whoever pays for it owns it. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's... That, unfortunately, that's... The Omnibus Sahau are playing. Yeah. You're not making a single no. cent. No. But, uh, Seinfeld, yeah. comedy's first billionaire, yeah. is because he's still making money off of Seinfeld right now. But, right now. but isn't no, that no. like a uh, Rowan Atkinson. Person? Yo, Mr. Mr. Bean. Bean. Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson. Till this day. I, I don't know what I was reading not so long ago. And I came across an article that was talking about when he just did radio for BBC in the 1980s, he used to earn uh, per minute about 4,000 pounds. And I was like, hang on, gents. Hi, man. 4,000 pounds per minute. 4,000 times 20. Fast. Uh, 4,000 pounds in rent, ne? Yeah, times 20. This is per minute. Per minute, yeah. Per minute. And, radio, on radio. and how long, how long was he on radio? Three minutes max? I can't remember. I mean, I, di- I didn't even know that he was on oh. radio. But Radio time should be three minutes, man. 94,500. Eh? 94, eh? 94, uh, okay. And listen carefully, man. 94,597 rand 64 cents. We we'll minute. keep it at 94,000 per minute. Yeah. Let's keep it there. Yeah, that's, that's for safety. Nah, no, so, so the, the issue you are on. Yeah. Ten minutes, I'll pay you. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so issue you are on. Um, are we ever going to get into the space where we own ours? Mm. And oh, I can tell you now. Are we ever going to get into the space where we own ours? Yeah. Mm. But but who owns it? Who do we have to get that ownership from? Because that, I think, would be the biggest problem. We have problem. to change the model. We have to change the model. But so who owns it now? The what? Pro- who whoever, owns what? Whoever makes the thing owns it. Yeah, but the problem is we're going to... To own it ourselves, we're going to have to take a lot away from that person. Or no, not necessarily. That person or those fraternities. No, not necessarily. The music industry showed us. The South African music... African music industry showed us. Mm-hmm. that these guys found ways of producing themselves and just dis- doing distributions themselves, you know, to the detriment of a lot of record companies. Look, Pioneers another like sector... Oskido. Yeah, another sector of these um, um, big studios also grew from that. But the reality is that our music industry got to a point where as an artist, I know if I can make music and Roboto can engineer, we can sit in my bedroom and do it. Where else the first belief was that you have to go to a studio. No, 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 Chief. Studio is in, it's called Mick and Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? <laughs> you have to go to Pretoria. Yeah. Mick and Rick. Yeah. So it's like they make and jazz then, music. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's a Rick real studio. Rick. Rick Mick. I think it's called Rick Mick. Rick Mick. 
Mm. Yeah, I met those guys when I was like, I don't know if they don't remember me. I was 15. Kesa bina ba rogi suba more rebatla record deal. Do you want to be a singer? A gospel singer? I, well, I am a singer. That's yeah, I'm saying, I but into acting, yeah. oh, so I'm saying that's coming into the industry. Is that what you wanted to do initially? I wanted to sing. Full, yeah. full time. I wanted to sing. And then Quite I got into acting gospel. through musical theater. So what, 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 what music were you, start, were you doing at the time? Gospel. Oh, so gospel, you, gospel. Rebecca Malope. Not quite Rebecca, but... Lundi. Lundi. What is your, your, your no, stage no, Lundi name? Lundi and Rebecca is the same thing. Yeah. What are you saying? Libwaga. <laughs> no shy gospel <laughs> film. James, you're going, you're going to <laughs> without the benefits, with the deluxe package, <laughs> with the deluxe package. Deluxe package. <laughs> so, do you have any songs out there? What's your your music name? No, I cannot repeat. Kitezito. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> Product placement, you have music, you don't get in order. Which one is this one? So wait, so you 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 got you got into you you got into the industry via music. You you I wanted to be a gospel. You got into music? Yeah. Um obviously and, and I mean Majita Banalo Shaya Shaya rather extravagant stories when we want to tell about our journey with music. Most of us, our journey with music is church. Standard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Were you a conductor? No, no, no. I was just a church member, and then I became a youth leader. Mm-hmm. Never conducted. No, never conducted. Because you have the body shape of a conductor. <laughs> 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 Which one is this one? one? <laughs> 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 and Ooh, you will need to choose from my product. Sorry. <laughs> The hospital. Ah! What did you do? Jesus. <laughs> 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 we are asking us to see he's going somewhere with this. Consistent. He was conducting. No, he was building. He was building up. Yeah, he was trying to construct. Yes, yes. And, and that's the weird thing. If you've been in the comedy space for a long time, you, you see can it tell coming. What you see it coming. Yeah, yeah. What our practice? What our practice? What our way? So yes, but but there's or church. Church was your introduction to music. Church was my introduction to music and and acting. Yes. So, so, so when did that shift happen between like going from church into, into sort of the industrial theater you're telling us about? No, before industrial theater. Yeah. So, so church was choir, but again, we, we had environments where there was no recreational, a vast recreational, what you call it. You either play Ozala Bolo, mm-hmm. because it's easy to just take a ball, get 24 guys to run around, right? Then the next one uh, would be church, mm-hmm. you know, choir. So then we started realizing, Hori, there was, for me, which is how protest theater for me worked. Mm-hmm. So I started, re- we, st- we started realizing, me and a couple of friends in church, we started realizing, Hori, church also had its own politics. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, man. Okay. And Lati Stereo. That's what I'm on. Luto la hali lepan. Ata ma. Which one is this one? I'm kidding, my king. I'm kidding. He's never wearing shoes, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll 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 show you a picture of that foot at the end of this episode. We'll have it on the screen. Yeah, we should. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be amazing. And on a red do, carpet. We must Just do a countdown. Yeah. Five, four. <laughs> so so the so the the. The drama thing mm. is that I think for me, one of my heartbreaks as growing up is realizing because we all grow up. I mean, if you grow up in church, the church is a very holy uh, and, space. and and holy space, mm. and you don't think there's a lot of wrongs that uh-huh. happen in church. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you grow older, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah. We just want to say that. Hey, that's very true. <laughs> so, uh, so this is around age 15, 14, 15. Yeah. yeah. I started noticing that there were politics in church. And, uh-huh. and as young people, you got nothing to lose. So you you address them. You know, you start addressing them. 
Mm-hmm. And like politics, like the politics of the day, mm-hmm. if you speak against the, the powers that be, the powers that be, or the system, or something that you know you think will destroy the church, then bow to this affair. You said you don't. Do the affair, Mushman. Do the Bow to fast. In fact, yeah. In fact. Um, Piano is a papa like So no Kitimoti Lord, what what's happening? Mm-hmm. So I started we started noticing these and I keep saying I because we were just a we were a group. So I remember the first time we actually acted. Right? Um because I was already exposed to sort of Buddy Gibson Kente place mm-hmm. and, you know, um, Umabata, you guys will know nothing about that, but, you know, those kind of places. Ah, Umabata. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ipintombi. Yes, Ipintombi. So then Which we one is this one? the next youth conference. Every region, every province comes ka, ka an act. Most of them will be between um music and um reading of scriptures and you know that kind of thing yeah so we then brought drama we brought a theater production to this thing but the theater production was was was, was really a family story uh. that has elements say the shapang di politik it's like a you know this is not what god is meant for us to hey, be the subliminals i mean yeah. i mean and I think for me that was that was the bite. That was when when I realized what it did, because suddenly we were not the favorite choir anymore in the Northern Cape. That is tension. We were no, no, no. It was like serious. And then you had the branch saying like Kauteng branch who, who was voting for us to be at the conference every year. We were like, no, no, no. We want those guys. The guys that why is Ababat? No, never root. Well, You know, later under because it's the truth. You portray the truth. And they get so then I got, convicted. That was the moment I started writing more. We started writing more. And then I, I created a, a group outside church that was a drama group. Then I bumped into a lovely man, God bless his soul, called Isaac Tao from Utenaik, the most talented man. I actually get goosebumps. Talented man who just mm. never had the opportunity to make it onto the mainstream, you know, theater scene. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. And the two of us were just, we were fired. This man was writing. I was mostly playing the lead in the stories and so on. And then I auditioned for Gibson Kente later because uh-huh. I realized, sorry, I actually love this. I went to, uh, I was in my second year of teaching. <clears throat> so, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I could tell already. Mm-hmm. Lena, Lena's second year of logistics. I yeah. was like, I, I was like, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Which is a very <laughs> difficult conversation to have with your parents. uncles, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. the guardians, and also people who don't have an example, understanding of what of you saying you went to this. Yeah, as well actually, no, to us, how many, there's no example. There's how no, many children? I mean, how many siblings do you have? I've got five sisters. You're the only the only boy. I had a brother who passed away. You, oh, yeah. you, 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 you were you were telling us about um, uh, you making that decision to actually go into. I just want to take us back to where we yeah. were. Um, you making the decision, Hore. You're two years into teaching, yeah. and, and well, like, Hore, I'm seeing yeah. flames here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing flames, but no, it wasn't just flames. It was also affordability. We didn't have. We grew up in that time where we Oh yes, so mm. your parents are too. Oh make, yes. Too um, which most of it I got from playing dice. But... Oh, but that's this girl. I got my dice. Dice. Ah, no, no. You know what? Not making it. Dice. Yeah, not past tense right now. You know, when I lived in Hillbro, there was a whole thing that that the guys who play snooker did in Hillbro, where you pretend like you don't know how to play. Oh, hustlers. Oh, you're a hustler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You pretend to, you know, that's a new word, mm, the hustle mm, thing. Mm. But, but we always sort of, you know, you hang around, pretend you can't play. You see the guy who's beating everybody. 
and he's taking small money, then you bring your money and you go, uh, but can and I you, start and with you, 10 rand? And yeah. you let him beat you the first round. You let him beat you twice. Mm. That's the idea. Mm. You know, and you just don't give up. And then terms But then you become a loud mouth. Then you start beating him. Proper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Proper. <laughs> yeah. You start beating him proper and take away his money. And, the, and his yeah. ego gets triggered, so he yeah. starts making the money bigger. Because yeah. mm. I know I can beat you. I've beaten you twice. Yeah. Can the yeah. strategy. You know, can the strategy. Really too, yeah, but it takes a, a humble person to do that. Yeah. To let someone beat you twice. Yeah. Before I start winning. So it is a strategy. But, Titi, that's the strategy you should apply to your life now. Ooh. Hmm. Nah. Generally. Allow people to be, to think they are above you. Just allow them because they think. Allow them to nyata you. Yeah. It's the best place to be in. And then yes. pop. It's Under the dog. best place to yes. be in. Yeah. Runa no rapagama, rapagamela, or autele unyati. It's in the unyata. It's to his own detriment, you know. Mm. The success will speak for itself. Yeah. Anyway, so so this is so this is me kind of going. Hakina nyogo, your feta teacher's course. Mm. But, and you also weren't enjoying it, no? Here's this thing. I was enjoying parts of it. I think I was enjoying the performance part of it. Because teachers are performers. Yeah, so you know, you, I must just go they to perform. Yeah. yeah. I've always you said know, if teachers could teach like pastors. Absolutely. Our kids would. You know, there's, there's a performance that comes with the f- most of the famous, or rather, favorite teachers. Yeah. Mm. You know, yes. you, you see him, you can see. I remember there was a teacher What's called Neromita Wax. Ali Chi's corporate boy. Ah, that guy's walk, man. Just the walk. Just the walk. How can I come to saying he, he was always soft spoken and, and his strategy was to make sure that we we pay attention. Because he's an attentive. Yeah, so he yeah. doesn't have to raise his so voice he doesn't raise over his you voice. guys, but he speaks low yeah. so you can keep so, quiet to hear him. Yeah. Must have walked, it's, it's a power, it's a power thing. Yeah. It's a power thing. And I remember I just wanted to be like that guy. You know, when I started teaching, I was like, I want to be like that guy. You know, yeah. except once in a while, I would bring characters into, you know. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I would work on Napoleon Bonaparte. I wanted kids to see him. Uh, to see that character. To see, you know. So you would that, bring that all these things to life. You would bring all these things to life. And that was you tapping into your strength. Yeah. Strengths. Strengths. Yeah. Then then I I I realized I can't I can't do teaching. Um I might even not finish this year because I'm not new. You know, and because Kela already, since I'm not new, it's about four. It's a mobile about. Yes. No, I'm about four now. Hey, when? When I'm since about four now. No, I'm about eight. Hey, in Togo. Bar bar. Um, Desmond Dube. Desmond Dube, come to the staff room. Mm. Hey. Oh, not even office. Yeah, staff, staff room. Staff room. Mm. I'll fix that out. Tola matiza. Tola matiza. Ajadi discounts. Red cake. <laughs> 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 you trying to get <laughs> one? What a joke, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that's the year when I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I need to go and find something else. So I started doing... Remember now, I've been doing peace jobs since standard three, maybe. Oh. Every day, after school, Nikki goes to Yeah. Either garden job or uh, stock taking at a carpentry shop or something, you know. But that was the time when I was like, maybe then I need to, one of these companies might hire me full time, uh-huh. you know. And while that was happening, Gibson Kente then brought a play to Kimberley. And I went to audition, you know. Because those guys knew me, most of these guys, uh-huh. who now, Bob Sugar. But the uh, Darlington Michaels, who was mm-hmm. Josie Zandela. Mm-hmm. Those guys, I saw them perform, you know. Um, Vusi Di Bakwani was now mm-hmm. a director. Mm-hmm. All those guys. I, I saw them, you know, and I would go, as they're building sets, I would go and help them build the sets. So then I, you know, I was like, maybe audition for this. Then I, that's how I got to Joburg. And because I came to Joburg without the consent of, uh, first, my grandmother, because uh-huh. I I was raised by my grandmother, and then Libo mm. Hey, I knew I can't come to Joburg and fail. Mm. 
standard. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, At close you to know, all of them. The template. Mm. Dude, think about this. I come to people's homes unannounced. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Desmond Dubey. Whether they have a choice or not, that remote is your house. I'm not change fast. And we're not going to let before the TV didn't let remote. You had to stand up with no prayers. No, I'm just saying, like, let me go in. Get on my water. Get on my water. No, I can't go in. Yeah. And people didn't know what infomercials was. We thought it was an advert omnibus. <laughs> Which is to us probably <laughs> at the time. Yes. So you come into the homes unannounced. unannounced. You come into people's homes unannounced. So so is every musician got a video alone. So so you have a, a special platform, and that's why you get attacked. Yeah. In fact, that's why you even get attacked by politicians. Mm. Because politicians want to be celebrities. They want to be like you. Yo, I don't like that at all. And we're doing it for a passion. No, I hate, right? yeah, I hate, I hate how our politicians are, are celebrities. Yeah. Yo, you know, so... It's, 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 it's disgusting. Talk, talking about celeb culture, Malmetes, you've been... Then and you've now. Been, you've been famous yes. my whole life. Mm-hmm. And yet you don't subscribe to the celeb culture. Yeah. I, I, I want to know, and this is a, this is a, a fully loaded question. Um... I want to know why you don't subscribe to celebrity culture. I also want to know what's the one thing that's kept you going through all these years. Because you've been a, you've been the one constant in our entertainment industry. Yep. You, yeah. so you know, easy. there's a lot of others. So easy. John Carney. John Carney. <laughs> <laughs> Lillian Dube. Lillian Dube. Yes. Lillian Dube. She's yes. like a hundred. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. No, no. But Dube is a hundred. You guys, stop it. you guys aren't going to see You that. know, why Why don't you sub- uh, subscribe to this celeb culture <laughs> and what's kept you going throughout all these years? Mm. I think I think I was very fortunate, Mbo. And I don't take that for granted. Mm. I think I was very fortunate that when I came into the industry, I was introduced to the industry by solid, talented Mm-hmm. And I mean again, I'm saying it again, talented. People who knew who they were mm-hmm. and who knew why they were there, mm-hmm. who knew why they were creating stories, you know, because it was a whole movement of of building the black nation. Mm-hmm. And quickly I realized that fame comes as a result as of As a that. byproduct. Yes. It's a byproduct but it's not their product. Mm. And once I figured that out as a youngster, it was very easy for me to even denounce celebrity dom. So when people say, ah, now he's celebrity, no. Uh-huh. Desmond Dubey. Yes. Yeah. Always, I always introduce myself with my name and my surname. Uh-huh. Desmond Dubey, actor or artist. Don't call me a celebrity. Yes. Because I'm not. Uh-huh. And a, a really good friend of mine, Robert Marawa, years ago, I don't know if he remembers this, he he questioned that. He said, why do you always have to, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, going to fix the whole world. Because mm-hmm. people know all of us as celebrities. And I said, yeah, but the one that came across me will uh, know uh, not to call me that. Mm-hmm. And the reason was, one, I didn't understand this, the, the term celebrity. I just didn't. I didn't. Ooh, celebrity You know. Yeah. Then I learned that it's a celebrated person. And the person who told me said it's a celebrated person like Nelson Mandela. I went, whoa. Uh, so you are trying to tell me that wine, 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 wine is a celebrity. And Nelson Mandela are in the same. Are on the, the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yo, it's the wine, same. wine, it's wine. It's I'm a glug glug. I'm a glug glug. That's all today. That's all forever. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect reference. And Mandela. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, trying to seven years. Yeah. Why? You, you wind, see, you wind, see what wind, I mean. Wind, wind. You see what I mean. So it's um, it's um. Yeah, my pocket. Don't answer the police. I'm sweating. <laughs> Couple of months. I got you, my boy. I got you. I got you. I find you. So that was for me 
um, how do you call somebody like Nelson Mandela a celebrity? Mm. And call and Windy call Windy. Windy. Dube, who does, he, all he's known for is I'm Windy Windy. Windy. Look. Mm. Yeah. And that was like one of your first smash adverts. Yeah. Ne? Like yeah. What, yeah. Was, like, yeah. If trending was a thing back then. That was then, my second advert, yeah. No, but I'm saying the one that really like blew up. No, I'm saying in my life, that was my second ad. Ever. All that you've oh, ever done. Yeah. My first ad was a Philips ad. With yes, yes, yes. Shai, and then second was the Amat Luk Luk ad. Yo. That was yeah. awesome. Amat right. Luk Luk. Yeah. You know. So, so then I couldn't, I couldn't, I just couldn't. Fathom the fact. I was just like, no, yeah. no, you can't, you can't call Mzwaki Mbuli a celebrity and then call Wandi Wandi a celebrity. At the time, Mzwaki was the people's poet. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. and I went. No, that can't happen. It, it can't. It can't be, you know. Um, but I think further in, I I started focusing on the respect for the arts. Chance, you don't know. I'm I'm a fan of the arts. Mm. I'm a fan of artists. Yeah, it's you know. Is. I'm a fan. I study, I, I look at people, I go, you know. I mean, when I met Umpo, I don't know if you know, like Umpo used to write uh-huh. like a couple of years ago. And I loved his writing. And I knew, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's just that at the time he thought he was the hottest thing. He thought he was a hot cake. And my blue tears. Anti boy queen. You know, so I'm a, I'm a fan of this industry. I love the people in the industry. I love even the celebrities. Mm-hmm. If they have something to offer, mm-hmm. you know, I follow. I, I kind of go, I like what that guy does. You know, I remember, you know, Mac G, when, when they started their podcast, I was like, they are on to something. Uh-huh. And at the time, everybody was like, yay, 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 you know, and I was like, Maybe it just needs to be heard. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it just needs to be heard when he was on YFM, you know, earlier, mm. early days. And and so I've I followed I followed radio DJs, radio personalities. Uh-huh. I listen, I still to, uh, to this day listen to community radio stations. Because mm. I love the arts that much. If I feel that you are beyond to offer. Yeah, you've got something to offer and you're beyond. Um, just yeah. normal, and there's a passion. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're my guy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you're my guy. Yeah, um, yeah. Most of the artists that I know, people think they're my friends, uh, and I always go, "No, I'm a fan." And you're not shy to say you're a fan. Eh? No, I'm not shy to say. Takes away nothing. Dude, I did a play called Nongo because you have self doubt. Oh. Lifana McQueen. Yes. Do you, do you guys know Fana McQueen? Ah, have you seen Man the Yeah, Man just tall. Eh? I did a I did a play with Fana McQueen. And for the first week of opening, every night, Star Trek. Untosh, yeah, Untosh Hamilton Lamin, mm. who's also a fan, uh, you know, I'm a fan of his, but I grew up with Untosh. Untosh would go, tsh, tsh, as in, it's your turn to speak. Because you are still. <laughs> 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 because, yes, that guy can act. That guy can. He's brilliant. And, yeah. and and we've got the same female actresses, Brenda Nguyen, for me. Yeah, oh yes, Brenda. Yeah. Yo, She's amazing. You know, well, okay. beautiful actresses mm. uh, that, that we have. Warren I'm, 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 Warren, I'm a Warren is, fan. You know, yeah. Warren Masemo. And he doesn't know it. Like, that's y- yes, the most I, fascinating. I, 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 so I have to remind him every time. I'm like, bro, you are my favorite actor in this country. Yeah. In life. And he looks yeah. at you and he goes... And he goes... It's yeah, just like, yeah, 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 it is, yeah, we just, yeah, we just. <laughs> so I'm a fan of the arts, and and yeah. I think maybe that's that's probably where that comes from to yes. understand the celebrity dom, the people who play into it, yeah, and the people who have a real purpose, supported by talent, mm. oh. you know, oh. you know, like like Malmedes. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a ring fella. Yes. Yeah. And that's what we love about you, man. Like, that was literally when when we spoke about you coming today to Popcorn and Cheese, you're the one that said, okay, let's play. Yeah. We say, I said, oh, just getting you on the show is like, it's just been a dream for First us, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. And then the fact that you said, 
and I'm coming to do sketches. Let's shoot. As I'm going to get ski skit. We say sketch and Roshadi skits. We like, eh, eh, we like, eh, but my is here. Yeah. So that's what we appreciate about you, man. Uh, Malmetes, like, honestly speaking, having you here has been such an honor and a privilege. And yeah, like getting to spend I, the whole day with you. The whole day. We've actually spent the whole day with you. A Sunday. And you know and what? Kudos again, Chance. Yeah. Not many youngsters in this business, not industry. That's a topic for another day. Mm-hmm. Episode two. Will find themselves in a room just creating. Mm-hmm. because we're all playing into the fame thing. Mm-hmm. And suddenly we've turned this business into a, a nine-to-five, where guys are like, on a Friday, hey, but me nang spawn on Saturday. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah, oh, you're off. Yeah, you're off. Mm. I'm a bad. One, one of my favorite mottos when I found what I loved doing was, every day is a holiday. Yeah. Because I realized that with my job, Sunday doesn't mean Sunday. Yeah. Monday doesn't mean Monday. I love what I'm doing any day. Mm-hmm. What I'm doing, I love it any day. I'll do it any day. I'll never say, I can't perform because it's Saturday yeah. or it's Sunday. I can perform It's like anytime. your favorite subject in school. You'll never bunk it. I love coming here, guys. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm, I like this is my favorite place to be. Yo. Same here. It's, it's, it's our favorite place to be. And now... Yes! 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 Yeah, yeah. Yes. Jesus. Yo, Malmetes, I, I feel like, you know, as much as as much as you've imparted so much knowledge on us, as, as much as we've covered today, I feel like there are so many more conversations Yo. we haven't had yet. Yeah. Right? And that's why I'm excited because we definitely want you back. Oh, thank you. Right? Uh, but yo, man, honestly, honor and a privilege. Or well, whatever the way you look at Fana, that's how I've been looking, looking at you the whole day today, yeah. Uncle Tess. The whole day. Mm. This is here. You're yeah, very kind to say. What this is it job. beyond the ice. <laughs> no, I'm fair too. I don't know if you guys know this. I got chicken. Yo, I got chicken. I'm beyond the ice. Yo, I'm with this. Why Loma? Why Loma? Even like this. Oh, he's chewing the bones. This kid. Yo, I'm going to go to the ground. He's not a celebrity. This he's one. a celebrity. He's a real human. I don't he's a real guy. Is it Tom? Yeah, is it Tom? You know, this is my first podcast, right? Yeah. Wow. We joined this one. Yes. Never done a podcast. Before. Yes. Mm. What? Yeah. Oh man, that is the best news ever. Cheese boys, cheese girls, cheese gang. gang. For the first time ever on a podcast, legend, the one and only Desmond Dube. What a Yo, man, uh, Titi. And there's another question we usually ask, but we'll also save that one for, for that yes. episode. Yeah. We'll yeah. save it for That's that episode. Crazy. That's yeah. the first episode we don't ask. We, don't ask it. No, we, we, we know we're going to ask it All right. next time. Uh, cool. so uh, ladies that, and gentlemen. That scares me. Sounds like a trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know why. Hey, 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 right you'll, hear it, you'll hear it when you watch... Uh, the, the other episode yeah. yes. should watch. Yes, it. yes, yes. Because yes. you already threatened one of us, so hey, I don't want to ask the question. <laughs> don't say one of us, say me. <laughs> eh, I can have one of you all. He's one of us in popcorn and cheese. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We should actually have a name for... For... Uh, sorry. So we you, should have, you should have a name for... We have an emoji for him. We, yeah. We have it's an the emoji. popcorn, flowers, and cheese. And then and it's Titsi Chumeric, the barbarian. I don't think the interrupter is a bad name. The interrupter. Because... Nah, he hits and miss. You know, sometimes... Hey, interrupt him. Marlon and his story told you, Lord! Because he's been alive for long. <laughs> yeah, but off the mic, he told me to take a look man because I'm worried about that child's future. <laughs> <laughs> and you've acted with him, actually. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you were a father. Mm. Oh, Lord. Oh, mm-hmm. no, no, the productions. Yeah. Hey, I'm sure the cheese gang is going to be no comments. That's all they're gonna yeah, be asking. Yeah. Sorry about that cough, man. It's a beautiful uh, story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, cheese boys, cheese gang. Uh, look, we might be in uh, whatever week we're in, but I want to take mm-hmm. this time 
to say thank you to every single one of you that showed up to Titi Chumi Alive. Yes, it was an absolute beautiful show. Yeah. And we can't wait to take it to the main stage. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting our boy. It was such a beautiful show to see both nights. Yep. So I think let's give Titi his flowers. As the man who always gives everyone his flowers, well done, Titi. Hey, 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 sending posters and creating posters to push and help Titi market. Shout out to you. Yes, yeah. yes. And posting yes. them on social media and running those. Yes. Things. And to those of you who've been, you know, not worried about your diabetes and just drinking the more fires, we thank you for supporting. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. uh, I know diabetes. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, to everyone that's been out there supporting the boy, Robito the boy, buying the more fire flavortron cans. We really appreciate your support. Also, ladies and gentlemen. Views are going up on the salary, salary, salary music video. Sure. If salary does not win music video of the year, uh, I I'm, quit music videos. Yeah, I also quit music videos. I'm cutting my eyebrows. What other music video? Yeah, mm. bro. Like how? Cre I don't. Malmetes, please. When you get the time, watch this man's music video. Mm. It is honestly the most beautiful piece of art to come out of this. Yeah our industry right now. It pays homage, the whole video pays homage to every single one of the fallen artists we lost. Yeah. So there's a, there's a Costa Teach moment where he does a scene where he dances and dresses exactly like Costa Teach and, yeah. and it's at the same place. Yeah. He does oh, the same thing with Kilaga. He does the same thing with yeah. Mbura Mbura yeah. to the point where he even got the same girls who were in the Mbura Mbura video. It's about Jaiva, you look Mbura and one. And, and then yeah. our AKA, our Ricky Rick. DJ uh, Dimples. DJ Dimples. Mm. He referenced all the videos, all the locations, same all the location, clothing, all set. the people, oh, wow. all the extras, and recreated all those moments. See, that's what I'm, I'm talking about. Yes, oh, yeah. that is art. That's what I'm you know? So if, Just a bit of thinking. And, yes. And inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Not one lipona in that video. Not one lipona. Not one. <laughs> hey, hey, good evening, bar. Um, okay, okay, yeah. Yes. So, so shout out, and then shout out to our guest for today, yeah. Uncle Des. You are an encyclopedia of knowledge. Mm. You are, you, you, you have a wealth of knowledge, and thank you for coming to share it with us today. You're too kind. Every time I'm with you, you impart some sort of knowledge. Whether we're on set together, I remember being on characters with you. I remember when we were working together when I was writing. Um, every time I see, even when we went to go watch the play, we literally stood outside while people were, you know, coming to take po photos in and, out, in and out, in and out. Yeah. And even then you're imparting knowledge. Thank you for being that guy in the industry. Thank you, man. Thank you for being someone that, a, a, a tree of knowledge that we can pick one or two fruits. Reje, ribe, nourished. Mm. Okay, 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 let me and I think it's uncomfortable. To, just to wrap yeah, it up. I can tell you. But you need your no, just to no, wrap no, it up. Also. Because you don't yeah. understand how you you inspired us. Yeah. Yeah. We make jokes when we're watching you as kids, but it's because of that that mm. we're here yeah. doing what we do. And yeah, the same uh, sentiment uh, of you saying you love the art, you love you picking up things that no one else picks up because that's how we think and that's how we move. Yeah, You spoke about the crew being happy to be here, the yeah. energy in the room reflecting what we show on the screen. Like everything you've shared here and what you're going to show in the next episode, I know the country is going to be a better place too because the, how the country works is how a family works and how an individual works and how the brain works. You know, mm. a wise man once said those words. Yeah. So it's like, and you know, that's my favorite poem, by the way. You see what I mean? So th that's the energy you've given us, and we appreciate you for that. And we yeah. just want to say a lot of people have slept on you. Yes. And Over the years, decades, they've slept yeah, on you. Like, mm -hmm. but now, as they the woke you, generation, yeah. We want to say, as people of the South, you know, Dali Tambu used to give people pillows. Uh -huh. Mamela, Uncle Des. Many yeah. have slept on you. <laughs> on popcorn but and Rona. cheese. Yeah, on popcorn <laughs> and cheese. We have not slept on you. We have not slept on you. A token of our I appreciation. I still have that pillow, by the way. Oh, the yeah, pillows are Tambu, yeah. same. <laughs> Yes. I think this is the first popcorn and cheese guest to have a popcorn and cheese pillow and, and a pillow. And, 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 and it's, it's black suede. No. Oh. Oh. Never, oh. never even met. It's Did black suede. Did you realize her mole always moved? Ah, uh, uh, pops. Ah, uh, uh, pops. 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 Uh, u
He's yeah, sweet. That's it was named in the same place. Outline. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> From the corn that pops and the cheese that's great, we, we are, are Robo Pops. And just like this beautiful episode with Malume Tesmond Dube, we, we are, are out. What Georgia? You look like you want to say something, Uncle Vis. Hey, Tara. I'm Chessman Ngube. I know, I know what it sounds like. He's my cousin. And this is Beyond the Grave, where your earthly benefits carry over to beyond the grave. Should you die, life on the other side does not have to end. You could live a life you always wanted, did you ever think you could live a suburban life beyond the grave? Well, our Deluxe Plus package offers you that and more. Beautiful people. I'm not gonna lie. I was scared to die. But dying is nice, Shane. Especially if your family takes out the Beyond the Grave Deluxe package. <laughs> you could also stay in touch with your loved ones by sending them WhatsApp messages directly to their dreams with our premium starter pack. Tone se ntjele khambani da ba wanya ktjele ba shuma emang siya dang hlanga ne le line ngatsi ya se home affairs. Anya skopola maro botu no man pifo tshe bang ki shara ping tshole la starter pack e premium. Premium ya ni tsotsa me ktjele ma ke premium ye beyond the grave ba wanya a shukuti no manya bona shuma mo seng khipala le khati bo ba ya bona ga ngutsa e sukuma pozo sukuma pozo sukuma pozo soko 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 sinja se ke Tell me, keep a little more feeling out to get a bona young land and go cut. Golf cut. Go. Golf cut. Golf cut can't join. Is this Zulu in your daughter? I'm in a WhatsApp group with Jesus. Siras, Paul is the admin. I get all the latest notifications. Guys, because my family decided to take out the Deluxe Plus package, I live in the suburbs in heaven. I know what you're thinking, it's all the suburbs. When I did the RTP, Momo Heaven, I went to visit Mandoza last week there. He's doing well, by the way. A pop solo, Nantwana. I'm not going to tell you about this. 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 I'm not going to But, even if you are facing hellfire, there is a Deluxe to Nowhere package. It allows you to get a J-O-B in hell. <coughs> yeah. Hell. Mm. Ah, the coffee's cold. Oh, they thought about everything here, man. Oof. Oh. Now, we are married at least we have benefits. We are not here for three years. Yeah. There's other demons here. Hey. Unemployed. Unemployed demons. <laughs> we came here because uh, our family took out, my family took out the extra deluxe plan. Where? Um, beyond the death. Beyond the death. Beyond the grave. Beyond the grave. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beyond and the grave. Nothing beats beyond the grave. Oh, we are, we, as we are employed, employed demons here, we are busy spreading bad luck. Hey. <laughs> Last week I robbed parents. <laughs> Ah, you see the bed like I'm Manchester gonna... United is having. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> the devils. No, they're in the red. We are the devils. Oh, we are the devils. Please remember, atheists don't qualify. Our clients believe in something. Anything. I can't. I can't believe you. How can I just. I see it. SMS now.
Robo Pops. What is I'll be girl and I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dollar story. Pets and I'm a guest, a nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese.